Everyone deserves to feel safe everywhere. I'm only 18 years old. And I had to witness kids who were younger than me die in front of me. So I do what I do so that doesn't happen to anyone. I can say for a long time, I really didn't feel that my story even mattered. And it didn't give me a sense of value until I started to begin to speak my story. I am changing lives, I am changing homes, I am now changing policy just by speaking that I am a survivor of crime. One day I was at home and I seen these people screaming on the streets of Sacramento, survivor speaks, who speaks? And I said, hey, I'm one of them people. And I ran to downtown Sacramento and me and my son started screaming right along with survivor speaks. <laughs> here to talk about safety in our communities. We are here because we are survivors. And as a survivors, we are called to bring hope. We are called to speak for those that cannot speak anymore. We are called to break the silence. We are called to be the architects of healing in our communities. Leadership and organizing saved my life. For me, what's healing is knowing that I have the power of the people in this room and the people around the country to make the kind of change I want, and it's not just lip service. Like, I can galvanize actual people, human beings, to stand up and stand for a thing that I know is justice. The great outcome for me would be when I know that I can make sure another person, another survivor, understands that leadership is possible. We are here to change the narrative about who crime survivors are and what we want. And that's to change policies to make sure that our communities are safer and to make sure our voices are heard at the policy table. Who speaks? When survivors speak, change happens. Change happens. You are the leader. You are the leader to help others because if someone knows about pain, it's you. If someone knows about suffering, it's you. If someone knows about healing, it's you. Just by speaking up, you are a leader in your own community. It may be five people in your group, it may be 500 in your group, but you are bringing change to the community. It feels like I have met my family for the first time. I've met my, my brother and my sisters, you know. It brings peace, it, it brings wholeness, it brings healing. It's a collective healing process. And I think if we share our stories, if we're out marching, if we're out just hugging someone, it's an outward expression of what you're feeling on the inside. And that alone is what really activates a healing process for other people. Healing hurts but it's so essential. Hard is not impossible. There are resources available for you, and if there are not, we will create them. If our government won't listen to us, then we will become the government. If we don't have the things that we need to do, then we will create it. There's no stopping us. So that's, I'm taking that with me.